What's up everybody, Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax. It's been quite a while since my last Sleeper Prospects video, but I found some guys on the 2022 Bowman Chrome Autograph Checklist that I think are tremendously undervalued. So I'm bringing you guys my top five favorite autos under $10 from this release. So let's dig into some stats and find some sleepers out of 2022 Bowman Chrome. Stay tuned. As I mentioned before, in this article, I'm going to take a look at the top five prospect autographs that are selling for under $10 right now from 2022 Bowman Chrome. The majority of these players are dark horse sleepers that will most likely never be impact bats at the MLB level. They do, although, have enough skills to show some market growth going into the 2023 minor league season. We're going to start with Jordani De Los Santos at number five. He was 17.9 this year and played in the Dominican Summer League, and he's a shortstop prospect with the Pittsburgh Pirates. De Los Santos was the Pirates' top international signee in 2022 and the number 16 ranked prospect in the international pool. He's one of the five youngest players on this checklist and has a solid showing in his professional debut in the Dominican Summer League. The Pirates shortstop prospect hit just under 260 with limited power and 14 stolen bases. The most appealing factor here were his K numbers. Over 234 plate appearances, he posted a 19.2 K percentage and a 1.40 K to walk ratio. I have two standards for excellent K numbers, being a sub 20K percentage and a sub 2K to walk ratio, which De Los Santos qualifies for under both categories. Now, quality K numbers don't ultimately translate to offensive production, but they will help him maximize his hit tool and raw power. De Los Santos only committed 10 errors in 109 attempts at shortstop this season. Now, I'll admit there's no real wow factor here, but if he can hit 270 plus with a 170 ISO and 20 stolen bases in 2023 as an 18-year-old, his value will increase significantly. At number four, we have Willie Vasquez, a 21.3 third base prospect that played in low A for the Tampa Bay Rays this past season. Willie Vasquez is the number six ranked player in the solid Tampa Bay Rays farm system. The six foot three right-handed hitting third base prospect finished the 2022 season with a career low batting average at 256, but a career high ISO at 154. What turned me on to Vasquez at his current price was the speed power combo possibility. He was good for 10 home runs, 21 doubles, and 19 triples in low A with 25 stolen bases. Now, before you get really excited, consider two things. First, Vasquez is not age level appropriate, being 21.2 and having no upper minors experience. Second, low A stolen bases don't often translate into the higher levels of the minor leagues. In 2021, Vasquez showed off excellent K numbers, but they slid into what I call the fringe range in 2022. I see two possibilities here. The first possibility that Vasquez fizzles out in high A with record high K numbers and a 230-ish batting average. The second possibility is that he continues to have some success in high A, much like he did in the Complex League in 2021. He continues to grow into more power and is able to maintain his in-game speed. Finally, he's hitting 351 in the Australian Winter League right now with a 9 to 7 K to walk ratio. Just saying. That brings us to our number three sleeper prospect on this list under $10, Daniel Cueva, an 18.5 shortstop prospect that played in low A for the Texas Rangers this season. Over the course of his two-year professional career, he's shown the ability to hit for average across the Dominican Summer League and Complex League. From 2021 to 2022, Cueva increased his ISO by over 50 points, but his walk rate took a bit of a hit. He's got an above average contact tool, but he needs to make more of it in the strike zone in order to maximize his raw power in game. Another thing to consider with Cueva is the exceptional log jam in the Rangers system in the middle infield with prospects such as Justin Foscu, Luis Angel Acuna, and Thomas Segesi, who have all had recent success in the upper minors. He has the defensive skill set to stick at shortstop and the offensive skill set to hit between the 270 and 290 range perennially. The big question mark is his currently average power, which could increase if he made more contact in the strike zone and added some quality mass to his 6 foot 1 inch frame. At number two, I chose Rossman Verdugo, a 17.7 year old infielder in the San Diego Padres organization. While the majority of his peers spent their first professional season in the Dominican Summer League, Rossman Verdugo was sent stateside to the Arizona Complex League. The 17.8 year old ranked at the bottom of the 2022 international class and was signed by the San Diego Padres out of Ensenada, Mexico. Verdugo is bat first all the way, with in-game power being his standout tool in his professional debut. He was able to crank seven home runs in just under 200 plate appearances at the age of 17, tying with Samuel Zavala for the most home runs by a 17-year-old on this entire checklist. 
Verdugo also has above average speed, backed by four triples in the Arizona Complex League in 2022. It hasn't manifested onto the base paths yet, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on as he develops. Now for the bad. Verdugo didn't hit for much average and posted the worst K numbers among these five players with a 35.4% K rate and a 3.13 K to walk ratio. I've done extensive research stat-wise with K rates in the lower minors, and finding an impact bat in the major leagues with a 30 plus K rate in the lower minors is a very difficult task. It's fair to mention that Verdugo was 2.7 years below the league average in the complex league. Sitting at $5, if Verdugo can keep up his power numbers and hit 20 plus home runs in a second professional season, we should see a significant rise in his value, no matter how bad his K numbers may be. Much like Jordani Dale Santos, Verdugo's numbers are an extremely small sample size across the single season. These numbers are often subject to significant change for the better or for the worse. Bringing home the number one spot in this episode is Jorge Barosa, a 21.8 year old center field prospect that played in AA this year for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Jorge Barosa is hands down the most undervalued prospect on the entire 2022 Bowman Chrome autograph checklist. I'm completely baffled by this market and how a 21.6-year-old in AA with 13 homers and 26 stolen bases can have an auto selling for under $5. Barossa has hit close to 300 across three levels in his career and posted a career-high ISO in 2022 at 160. His highest career K percentage is under 20%, and he takes a healthy amount of walks, which will allow him to maximize his average raw power in-game. Barossa also chopped his ground ball to fly ball rate down by 50 points from 2021. His plus speed has translated to over 50 stolen bases in the upper minors over the past two years. He's also a plus defender in center field. Now to the downside, which is completely independent of his skill set. The Diamondbacks organization holds some of the most coveted prospects and rookies in the center field slot in all of minor league and major league baseball. Corbin Carroll and Alec Thomas are both human highlight reels in center field. Drew Jones, the number two overall pick in the 2022 draft, is also a center fielder with significant upside. And let's not forget Jake McCarthy, possibly one of the most underrated MLB outfielders in the league, as a lock in a corner outfield spot with the big league club. As I mentioned, the serious logjam in the outfield is completely out of Barossa's control, but does affect his path and ultimately his upside in the D-backs organization. I do have a feeling that there will be some moves made in the near future involving D-backs outfielders, which could open a door for Barossa. Although he doesn't have superstar upside, Barossa could grow into a solid MLB outfielder that commands value way above the $5 mark. Now, before I get out of here, I want to make it very clear that I don't see any of these players becoming organizational superstars. But there is significant room for ROI, return on investment, with their current comps. Anyone remember how much Ezekiel Tovar Auto sold for when 2021 Bowman Chrome was released? Right around $15. That's right, he was a sleeper who was overlooked by the entire hobby community, while players like Shailen Polanco, Luis Rodriguez, Carlos Comanerez, and Wilman Diaz went for over $75 on release. My final point is a challenge to the prospect community to dive a bit deeper into the numbers and find the next Ezekiel Tovar, Nick York, or Vaughn Grissom, players who sold for stake scraps on release. Stop putting so much weight on an international prospect list and follow the numbers. It will save you a ton of money in the long run and make it much more fulfilling when you find the next breakout prospect that no one cared about. If you guys enjoy my videos and want to help support the channel, please check out my Patreon page. I've got lots of exclusive content over there, including detailed autograph checklist breakdowns of all Bowman releases since 2019, including 2022 Bowman Chrome and 2022 Bowman Draft, a Top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos list, and a Top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos under $50 list. If you enjoy breaking, I've got you covered with team break guides for all Bowman releases since 2020. You also get early access to video information and the Let's Talk Wax private Discord server. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'll put a link to it in the description. And don't forget to head over to my website, www.letstalkwax.com, where you can find detailed information from all of my videos in Excel sheets, you can find team break guides, and lots of other helpful prospecting information. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. 
A quick shout out to all of my level three sponsors over on Patreon, Max, Brad, Bruce Wiley, Chris Krakowski, G Squared Collectibles, Castle Cards, Eric Alonzo, Graham Cochran, Jason Hall, Jonathan Asensio, Andrew Smith, Just Dingers Breaks, Kenny, Larry Canterbury, Lucas Benita, Sup Den Bros, 909 Sports Cards, Max Antony, Michael McDonough, Mike Barrier, Nico Suave, Tom Barda, Matthew, and Spencer McCormick. That's going to wrap up this video today. If you guys enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel and help me reach my new goal of 10,000 subscribers. A big shout out to everyone who supports the channel on here and on Patreon. Y'all rock. Have a great day.